The great search brought to you by DigiKey and Creator every single weekly day to help you. Yes, you find things on DigiKey. Thanks, DigiKey, for making this segment possible. Lady Ada, what are you looking for this week on DigiKey.com? Okay, this week I saw on the Zeets, um, some folks were chatting about um, RCA jacks and they wanted triple RCA jacks. This is a dual RCA jack for stereo audio. Uh, and RCA is still a very popular connector. It's really basic, but it works really well. It's kind of foolproof. Uh, there's color coding, you know, and then you can match it up to um, the cables. So like, you know, this is an example. The cable has the yellow and red and white coloring that lets you know that this is video and then left and right. Although I don't, I never remember. Maybe red is right and white is left. I don't remember. Maybe it's the other way. Stereo audio. Um, oh yeah, R is R is red, uh, so that's a good way to remember. Right is red, and left is white. And uh, this is uh, NTSC or PAL uh, component video, composite video. Um, but some people are like, oh, I want to have something for component video, which I always mix up. Component video is not the same as composite. Composite is one where all the sync and all the color data is on one wire. Um, and it uses like color bursts and like a, you know, extremely amazing, complicated um, and slightly uh, lower quality way of transmitting audio uh, video. But if you want better quality video, and this was in particular for retro computing, a lot of uh, video game systems before they had HDMI, to get good quality, you could maybe have component. Uh, and component, even though it says RGB, it's not necessarily red, green, blue. This is actually um, Y, PB, and PR, which are the sync and Luma for um, a better quality HD video, but it's still like on an analog um, style uh, connector. Um, and then there is analog. It is actually possible. I will mention like, you know, I, I was like, oh, this is component video, but RGB analog does exist in some VGA. So sometimes you will see VGA connectors and they'll come out to, um, analog red, green, and blue, and then sync is on green. So it is, it is possible to have it be, um, true analog with like the analog levels on red, green, and blue. But anyways, you can use it for either. Still, very common on um, older pre-HDMI displays, better quality than uh, composite, um, not as good as true digital um, DVI or HDMI. Okay, so you want um, these connectors, uh, but we want one that's triple, not dual. Although you'll see, you can also select dual. And what's nice about these is um, they come as one piece, uh, they're molded together, and this makes it easier to place because you place them at once. They're always like perfectly even because they're plastic molded together. And also um, these plugs take a lot of strain. Like it's very easy to like wedge them and pull them um, and uh, twist them, well, not twist, but uh, torque them. And so having a lot of mechanical strength is good and having all three connected together on a plastic piece not only looks good because of evenness, but will give you more mechanical strength because you can have a mounting tab, for example, um, or each of the, you know, each one has two um, con contacts, the ground circle and the data or analog signal center. You now have six, you know, four or six contacts that are giving you mechanical torque protection again instead of just one. One RCA jack will absolutely torque right off, um, especially if you have a, you know, a younger person who is like still learning how much torque you can put on something. So let's go to DigiKey and look at these. So these are called RCA connectors, but the category is going to be, it, it's interesting, even though in this case, we're using it for video, for uh, component video, it will be under audio connectors because it's historically used for audio and then it kind of got like repurposed for video. So if you, even though it has, you know, your standard, um, that was like your 3.5 millimeter or quarter inch jack. Uh, if you go here, you'll see that it is in fact RCA connectors. So there's a bunch of different configurations. Again, these are very old connectors and they're very common. Uh, they're still used quite a bit. Um, I will say, don't use them for power. I've seen people do that. Don't use them for power. Use them for like, you can use them for some RF signaling. 
um, low frequency or you can use them for audio or video. You can have vertical sticks right up. Uh, horizontal, this is extremely common, the right angle, like I said, and they come in various colors. Uh, this one is nice, has a plastic protector. You'll see there's the two nubs in the front um, that will sink into the PCB and give you mechanical strength. Uh, this has, you know, three big contacts you would solder in instead. And then you can do get into the, um, you know, multi, multi-pack style. So this is stereo, left and right, but vertical. Uh, dual stereo, left and right, but, you know, input and output maybe, two channels. Um, and then uh, various colors. Yellow is common. Blue, I guess for RGB or for that um, composite. White is common. Black. You'll see, like, you know, black, white, red, yellow, green, and blue. I've seen, like, some other colors once in a while. You're not going to get pink, unfortunately. So what we're going to look for is um, triple with red, green, blue coloring. So first off, let's only look for active. And uh, normally stocking. So we want to look only for stuff that you can kind of get. Okay, so now we want to select, uh, we're going to have through hole because we want it to be uh, coming out of the PCB. And we want, um, let's say right angle, you know, coming out to the side. Uh, but this one doesn't say vertical, so I'm going to select it anyways because it's unclear. Um, which way it is. Sometimes like the categories aren't, aren't complete. Um, a couple different manufacturers. Uh, these are looking good. These are still all the singles. So, you know, if you look at this dual, cause sometimes you're like, how do I select that I want three? And it's like, there's a dizzying number of, you know, setups here. So on this one, it's two sets of two conductors, three contacts. The contacts is a little confusing. I would go with the two sets of two conductors because each connector has two conductors, the ground and the signal. Um, and I guess the three contacts, what that means is that the grounds are all shared. But I don't really need that. I don't really care too much. And then you can also, of course, search by insulation color. That's another way to do it. But let's just look for the three, three uh, sets of contacts. Um, so three sets. Uh, three contacts, five contacts, or six. So basically, you know, are, are the grounds shared or not? Uh, looks like on this one, I don't understand how it could be three. Oh, no, sorry. This is three conductors. I want three sets of two conductors. Pardon. Three sets, two conductors each, six or nine. Nine, not sure how you could get nine contacts out of here, but we'll we'll find out. So let's apply and see. Okay, so it looks good. Uh, so there's this one. This one's looking very nice. Uh, I wonder which one has nine. This one has nine. I guess we'll see what's up with this one. Um, red, green, blue. So this one is kind of what we want, but it's not in stock. This one, interestingly enough, uh, is here, but it looks monochromatic. Um, so let's click, because sometimes there's multiple photos, and we can see what's up here. Let's go to the 360. And we'll wait for it's loaded. Okay, so this one is uh, red, green, blue, and we can see. Oh, it looks like there's. Is there a switch, or maybe there's just dual contacts? Let's see if there's what's going on in here. There's no. Oh, there's a switch. Oh, this is actually really nice. You know what? I didn't notice that before. So this one has nine contacts. There's actually a switch, so you can have the signal grounded. Um, when nothing is plugged in. Oh, this is a very nice um, connector. Uh, so yes, each one, maybe over here, has a switch inside. You don't need to use it, but it's there if you like it. Uh, and this particular part number is PJREM3X. Great. Uh, 1U03X. 1U03X. Okay, so this one, the only thing that this doesn't have is the gold plate. Apparently there's a gold plate version. But nickel plate's probably fine too. Um, so yeah, this is a very nice connector. Nicer than I even thought. I didn't realize that it had a switch. I was like, why does it have nine contacts? And a switch built in. So this one, this is gonna be really nice. This will de definitely do the job no matter what. And I like that you can ground the inputs when they're not connected. 
uh, give your analog input stage a break. So this is my pick from Switchcraft. Okay. DJ REN 3X1U03X. Triple. RCA. 